Michael, you spent a good part of the last season in a goo tub, babbling and... Tell us about that. Gorgeous babbler. Todd Sharp, everybody. Is it just me or is he reminding me of James Lipton from the Actors Studio right now? <laughs> Kate Vernon. Died with the hands of your husband. <laughs> Tragedy. Personified in depth and deep space. Um, Michael Trudeau. In a tub. And you're doing a great job because your notes are on the front of the stage. I'm staring at them. So you're just completely flying by the seat of your pants, man. Right? Awesome. I'm trying to figure out the right moment to actually walk up there and grab them. Yeah. I'm going to actually check and see if that's the right question you had for me. Yeah, so you know you're going way off the plan here, man. Something about seven episodes. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was mine. What, what was the question? I have no idea. What was my question? The tub. Tell us about the tub. tub. Spending the last half of your experience on Battlestar uh, in a bathtub. Yeah. Um, not as cool as it looks. <laughs> it was fun for the first 36 minutes, and then it sucked. Um, they heated it. Contrary to popular belief, it was not goo. It was not the same. You never had to experience it, but I these, had goo. they definitely had to experience I love the, goo. the actual goo, the, the, that viscous, like oil-like substance that they had to come out of. My tub was just really nasty, warm water. It was just like stale, like particulates floating in it. And um, I was in a, I was in ball cap makeup that took like four and a half hours uh, um, every morning to apply. And this went on for several episodes, and um, yeah, in hindsight, if I had to do it again, I'd just shave my head and, and, and be done with it, because the tub was one thing, but I have to be stuck in this latex condom, for lack of a better word, really stuck to your head, and you're sweating, because, you know, they, would, they heated the tub, but sometimes they heated the tub too much, and so you got, you got nothing, you know, and I His felt like... His head would bubble. It would, it would, like, actually grow, like, two or three sizes, and we're like, that's weird, man, pierce that, that doesn't look good. Get him out of the tub, Trooper doesn't look well. Somebody pinch that boy. That's just weird, man, that thing's starting to fill up, so, um... Yeah... All in the name of art, man. It was all good. I, you know, once you see it on screen, you're like, okay, that looks cool. Was it worth it? Yeah, I guess so. Um, but yeah, I'll never do that again. <laughs> no tubs, no ball caps. Just shave your head and just stick me in the corner of the room. I, I can vouch for you here, by the way. I was on set the day that you shot your goodbye with Star Wars. Oh, yeah. And I think you spent four hours in a tub in quest of a tear coming down the side of your face. Yeah. Four hours, I kid you not. Yeah, for that one scene. Um, yeah, that was a really intense moment because the, the scene, there was, the, there, was, there was so much writing on, on that scene and, and on so many different levels. It was, it was from a character standpoint for both Anders and, and for Starbuck, but there was also a personal, um, there was a lot of baggage in that scene. That, you know, that was the last thing that Katie and I shot together. So. It was very cathartic. That was the end, and that, that everything culminated in that one moment. And we realized, and maybe it was, it was by design that they say that scene for us at the end. But it was nearly impossible to to suppress any emotion. I mean, how how, how could we? And and we we struggled with that because we thought, that, you know, at the state that Anders was in, as this hybridized sort of comatose, just you know, babbling thing in a tub, would there be room for emotion? And uh, Michael Reimer and myself and Katie decided that it was a nice, it was a nice button to to Anders and to the, the finale to this this it was it was closure. And I like that we had just a, just a hint of humanity left that there was something underneath that shell that there was, he was still in there, and there was a connection made. And, and uh, yeah, just talking about it, it just it conjures up a lot of uh, emotion. Yeah, it was, it was intense. I remember Michael Trugo. <laughs> right on. Thank you.